a good day to you today. It's uh, Friday, February the 16th, 2018, and we are swiftly moving through this new year of 2018. We're in the middle of February already, and we're, we're talking about how love acts as followers of Jesus Christ when we understand, particularly out of 1 Corinthians 13, how love acts, and then we line our life up with that to the best of our ability and the help of the Holy Spirit. We're in the last phrase of verse 5 of 1 Corinthians 13, which says, Love thinketh no evil. Have you ever found yourself attributing a good action to a bad motive? Huh. A good action to a bad motive. Not a bad motive to a good action. Think about it. It's not the work of love. Have you been busy raking through the ashes of life, looking for the faults and failings of others? <clears throat> Do you find yourself constantly suspicious of other people? You see, love does not look for evil in the actions of others <clears throat> when those actions are good. One married man said to his friend, he said, you know, every time my wife and I get into a conflict, she gets historical. His friend said, historical? Don't you mean hysterical? No, I mean historical. She rehearses everything I've ever done wrong in the whole history of our marriage. That's keeping score. That's not love. It's amazing. The Greek word here implies that we reckon or impute evil to the other person. That's what the Greek implies when thinketh no evil. Love thinks no evil. That we're imputing, we're we're accounting, we're reckoning, like it's a numerical calculation. It's used of God, not imputing our guilt to us, but instead imputing, calculating, reckoning, accounting the righteousness of Christ to our account. Love doesn't keep a tally of wrongs and bears a grudge until everyone is paid for. Love doesn't do that. And, and have you found yourself holding a grudge against someone, waiting for payback or waiting to uh, the scales be balanced out? Love doesn't try to get the upper hand by reminding the other person of the past wrongs. Love forgives. Love does not become suspicious or retentive in her memory of evil done. Love writes our personal wrongs in ashes or in water. Love thinks no evil. It's not suspicious. It puts the best construction on everything and takes all in good faith. The haughty, however, are immeasurably suspicious, always solicitous, not to be underrated. They put the worst construction on everything. Job construed, Joab, excuse me, construed the same thing about Abner's deeds in 2 Samuel 2.35. It's a shameful vice that we're always construing evil to people's motives or when they do good things. And, and those who do that are guilty of it and are hard, they're hard to handle. You see, thinks no evil. That's difficult in a, in a society that has become so desperately wicked. I mean, everywhere evil abounds. And, and let's be quite frank, sometimes it's hard not to think evil when we see things going on like they are and we see people that we have profiled in a certain fashion and then we think evil of them, not just that they might do evil. Wow, love doesn't think evil. Now you say, well, you're being naive. Love, Love's not naive. It is not naive. But, you know, I think that we have to we have to agree that when we look at other people, let's look at them through the eyes of Philippians chapter four, verse eight. and says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things. So I want to ask you today, are you holding a grudge against someone? Have you been meditating on the wrongs and offenses done to you? Have you been nursing your hurts? 
and now your life has got a little skew on it that's not right and you're seeing evil everywhere and you can't see any good love thinks no evil purity of mind what a powerful thing oh heavenly father work that in me today work in me that purity of heart that that sees the good around me does not ignore the evil has ability at times to correct it or change it but Lord help me look for good help me acknowledge the good and help me acknowledge that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights in whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning I praise you today Heavenly Father for you are good and your mercy endures forever I guess Lord if I just keep my eyes on you I'll see more good Help me to know right from wrong as I walk through this journey. I give you praise for it in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, look for the good in others today. Stop looking for the bad. And when you confront evil, confront it in a gentle manner. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.